Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I know it has been so long since I have said those words, but thank you for sticking around through this really, really, really long absence. Um, I have not filmed a decor haul type video in over four months, and the last two videos I posted were two months ago, and those had been filmed back, I believe, in April or May. So um, it's been quite a while. I feel like I'm going to need to do some sort of an update video. If you don't follow me on Instagram, I posted a little bit about what's going on in my life personally but for the most of it everything has stayed offline so life has been really 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 insane since my birthday and even a little bit prior things were a little crazy too so um yeah I have a lot to fill you guys in on and I know it's been quite a while without an explanation or a video of some sort but um because of the circumstances and everything going on it was just not a good time to film so Anyway, with that said, today I'm going to be filming a cubicle office decor haul for my office. I still work at the same job that I got back in February. That's when I started this job, so I'm officially off of my first little six month probation thing. Um, I of course it already passed probation of my old job but when I moved that had to start all over so that's okay my six months has now expired um, and I will be around there for a while <laughs> so anyway I have some new things that I cannot wait to take to my office so that's why I'm going to be filming an office decor haul or cubicle decor haul video today because I do have some more stuff for my own home filming office that uh, will be in a separate video Does that makes sense so anyway I've got a bunch of cute new goodies cannot wait to take them back to my office um, but I wanted to share them with you guys first so with that said, I think that's everything I need to say at the beginning of this video. So without further ado, let's get into my long-awaited next haul video, which is my cubicle and office decor haul video. So first things first, we're going to start with picture frames. And I picked up some new ones because there are two of them at my office that I just don't really care for in the space. I don't know if it's because the cubicle walls are kind of like a dark teal color. And I don't know if the color just clashes or whatever, but um, I'm going to bring those frames home and put these in their place. And this is just what I picked up. I found this at Ross, it was $5.99. And you guys know that I love like the really fun, ornate, really fabulous and loud, baroque type style of picture frames i thought this was so fun again this is only 5.99 at ross and the reason that i picked this one up is because i had already bought one of these at goodwill a couple weeks ago and of course this is just what that one looks like also originally 5.99 from ross it still had the price tag on it but goodwill was selling it for four dollars and 19 cents just right there. So um, again, I am going to be kind of swapping out some frames. It happens, not everything matches um, as much as you want it to. I've tried, but it just kind of bothers me. The coloring just doesn't really look all that right. So um, these are quite large and the pictures that it fit, fits, of course, is just a four by six photo. But anyway, really, really excited for these picture frames. I think $5.99 is a really good deal for how large those are um, and they're very heavy as well. So that's also really nice. So then I picked up these two little frames from the TJ Maxx website. So I still have these still in the plastic. These were each $4.99 from the TJ Maxx website. I know that they carry these in other colors. I bought my boss Tiffany blue ones because she loves Tiffany blue and and I know that they had gray, white, and I believe there was another color. Um, and I found one baby pink one at the store, and then I found these also online. So I kept one for my home office. Those will be, or that one will be in a separate video. These ones are in this video. Oh God, I hate when I say these ones. Anyway, <laughs> we can't be picky here. This is the first time I filmed the video in actual months. So again, I just picked up two of these little baby frames. They're really, really cute. These are from the brand Parisian Home. They fit four by four photos, and they were only each $5. So I know that seems pricey um, compared to this one, which was only a dollar more. So pretty crazy, $5.99 and $5. That really is quite drastic. <laughs> that just goes to show how much of a good deal these are. So again, found these on the TJ Maxx website, but I know that Home Goods and Marshalls also carries them because of course they're all affiliated and all that good stuff. So, okay, I think that's all I have. Oh no, I have one more picture frame, goodness gracious. So I bought two of this next frame, one for my home office here and then one for my office at work. And it's just so adorable. I love this kind of like little, very um, classy, timeless, but also very fun as well. I love that. It kind of looks like, um, very Hollywood Regency glam Beverly Hills hotel kind of stuff. So anyway, I found this at Home Goods, $6.99 from the brand Tahari Home. And again, this is also a four by four photo. You could certainly take out the white mat and have a lot larger of a photo, probably a five by five or, cause I don't think that's two inches. So yeah, probably a five by five photo would fit. You would just have to cut your own little cutouts around the corners of your photo if you wanted it to take up the whole frame. But again, really a good deal. This was $7, again, $5.99. So six bucks, 
seven bucks, right? Yeah, seven bucks, five bucks, seven bucks, and then five bucks for the small one. So I bought two of these, one for my office at work and then one for my house. So I love it. I think it's really cute. And I think that they're all going to look really fun in the same sort of space and decor, I guess. There we go. <laughs> so next, I picked up these really cute new pens. They are so adorable. I found them at Marshalls for only $3.99, and they are from the brand Ecolo. These were in, like, the stationary office area, and I cannot get enough of these pens. Look at how cute they are. They are so adorable. This one's really fun. It has a nice, fun, shiny gold bow at the top, and then this one has a shiny silver bow at the top. They're so adorable. They're gonna look so cute in my little pencil holder on my desk. I just love them so much. I know it's four bucks for one pen, but seriously, bows are everything. I love bows, and these pens are just too cute to pass up. So I thought they were really, really fun. Again, $3.99 from Marshalls. This next item was also $3.99 at Marshalls, and I don't really need this, but I needed it because it's so cute. I thought this would be so adorable sitting on my actual desktop and computer area, but it's this really cute white baby pink and gold unicorn pencil sharpener. I just thought this was so adorable. This is from the brand U Brand. Brands, and they just call this again a unicorn pencil sharpener singer single hole metal sharpener for number two pencils and yes I just thought that this was so cute you guys know that I could not pass this up I was so excited I've not ever seen anything like this they I like they've had like a weird like um unicorn tape dispensers and stuff and the bodies are always really weird yeah the like the um unicorn rainbow and stuff is fun but like the actual bodies are just like really really long for tape i don't know it's just something about it, it just kind of is weird to me but i just thought that this was so perfect these are my colors this is just so adorable and then that is wait what how do i how do you get your You guys, I don't know how to use this. <laughs> what? I just assumed I would take this off and like I could put like the pencil in here. But I think I have to like pry this apart. Oh, I don't like that. I don't like that at all. That scares me. What if I break it? <gasps> there it is. It's, <laughs> oh my God, okay. Oh my gosh. So this stays on to collect all of the pencil shavings inside of the unicorn. And then you pop the horn out and that's where your pencil goes. That is so hilarious and so smart. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. That is so cute. I for sure thought, oh, I'll just stick it at the bottom and call it a day. But I love that it has like a little built-in collection for all your like pencil shavings. That is way smarter than me, apparently. <laughs> now I can't get the bottom clipped back in or snapped back on. Ugh. Anyway, okay, still so, so, so adorable. I love that so much. Oh, I'm gonna have to find an actual real pencil to use this with. But anyway, again, $3.99 from Marshalls. So this next item I didn't necessarily need because I already have a pair at my desk, but I just thought that these would be so much cuter in my pencil little holder. You guys know if you watched my other cubicle decor haul video that my pencil holder was like double-sided. So there was like two like little square pencil holders stuck together. I don't know if that even fully explains what it looks like, but that's okay. Anyway, I have a pair of just plain black scissors in my pencil holder, and I just thought that these would be so much cuter in there instead of those, so I decided to pick them up. These look just like the Nate Berkus gold scissors, infamous gold scissors from Target. Those, though, are $19.99. I found these at HomeGoods for $9.99, so I thought that was a really, really good deal. I couldn't remember which store I found them at, but I know that HomeGoods doesn't always print their name at the top of the tags. I don't know why. It's so weird. Maybe it's just my HomeGoods, too. I have no clue, um, but these are from the brand Sheffield Sheffield at home and they just call them gold scissors. So yes, really cute, super bougie. Love that. They're going to be so cute in my pencil holder and I cannot wait to actually and finally take them to work. This next item, again, wasn't really an item that I needed because I already have one. They, of course, supplied me with one, but you know me. I just did not like looking at it. It's old, it's dingy, and it's just mm, not me. So when I saw this one, I thought I need to have this in my office. This would be so cute and girly. And of course, you know, it looks like Kate Spade. So I had to pick it up, but I bought myself my own trash can. So this is a nice, fun metal trash can. Again, I have a metal trash can, uh, but it's like 
gray, silver, kind of crummy, kind of rusting, and it's just, ugh, no, I don't even want to touch it. But this is from the brand Nicole Miller Home. My girl Nicole, love her stuff. And this was $9.99 from Home Goods. So this is so adorable. And if you've ever been to Dollar Tree, they sell those really fun kind of see-through pink bags. And so I think I'm going to take those to work to start collecting my garbage. They have bags that fit my other trash can. I think that they might be too big for this one. This is a little bit smaller than my actual one. So I think that I'm going to buy those pink pink ones and then of course just use pink bags and change them out weekly tie them up on friday and they can take my stuff at the end of the week so anyway yes they, i mean they take my trash like daily they can dump it daily but i think at the end of the week i'll just trash the whole bag because at that point five days of throwing papers and you know what's in the trash can um it's gonna tear the bag of course so anyway yes so excited so cute cannot wait to finally take it to my office and have a cute bougie girly trash can so this next item i picked up it was from marshall's it was only 14.99 this is just what it looks like. This is very similar, if not almost identical to my Kate Spade one. As you can see here, it's a light pink. It has a little gold bow in the front that says Kate Spade. This one has a little gold bow on top. It does not say Kate Spade. Um, I don't even know the actual brand on this. It literally just says $14.99. So this is just what the inside of the box looks like. Silica packet. <laughs> um, it just has like a velvety purple um, liner on the inside. Really cute, really fun. And again, I'm just going to set this on my desk. Maybe put some things in there, maybe some tape. Um, I already have a box that has like all my post-it notes, wide out, stuff like that. So I think I'm going to put some other little things that I kind of grab often in this and put this on my desktop. So I thought this was really, really fun. Super cute. Also a lot cheaper than the uh, Kate Spade one. And even the larger one is like even more expensive. But anyway, love this. Really, really cute. Again, from Barshall's, $14.99. So adorable. So I found this at TJ Maxx for only $7.99. It still has the little cardboard edge covers, so you can't really see the full picture, but this is actually a canvas. And this just says feminine and fierce. I thought this was so adorable. I love all of the little gold and kind of blush, maybe pink coloring details on them. So adorable. This is like a little lip purse. So, so fun. Sunglasses right here. We kind of have a gold metallic gold heart warm coffee tumbler here a cold drink tumbler here striped with pink a lip gloss here another pair of sunglasses hearts down in that corner and then a little lip gloss and nail polish right here so i love this so anyway i have some more artwork to share with you and these next two pieces sort of have a little funny story so this next item i'm really excited about because i've had this for a couple months i bought this back in june on the tj maxx website the shipping was a little bit slower than i anticipated but that's okay. Um, you guys know how much I love Oliver and Oliver Gal artwork and canvases, all that good stuff. I just love all of their designs. So when I saw this online, I thought that this would be so cute in my office. And this was only $19.99 on the TJ Maxx website. This is a 20 by 20 Oliver by Oliver Gal canvas. So adorable. I just love everything about this. So this says Paris at night, fashion drawing and down the runway. And all of these little words over here are not legible. <laughs> um, and then up here we have the little faux Chanel bag, the cute little Starbucks coffee cup. And then we have the cute little candle. This, this design is um, from a candle. I don't remember the brand. Um, and then a lot of girls will like melt their candles, use them, and then use them for their makeup br brushes, pens and pencils, all that good stuff. But this just says Paris, roses and Paris. So I thought this was really, really cute. I love the fun material metallic details all over it could not get enough of it and so when I saw it on the website for only 20 bucks I thought okay I certainly need this to fill in I've got these because I have a window seat I don't have as much wall space as some of the other cubicles in my like area my vicinity um but this would work in like the spot next to one of my cabinets on the wall before the window so I know that sometimes if you put things near windows they can get faded all that good stuff but I think that this will stand up I just think it is so adorable but what's even funnier is that the more and more I kind of looked at the space I was like I think that that artwork might be a little too large and this is where things get kind of funny because I was shopping at TJ Maxx and I found another one 
identical but smaller so let me grab that so I have a feeling that this canvas since it is smaller I believe that it's going to be a 16 by 16 because this big one like I said was 20 by 20 and this is larger than a 12 by 12 piece of scrapbook paper but again I found this at TJ Maxx for $14.99 so $5 cheaper and this is just what the little smaller version looks like so again really cute and the reason I decided to finally pick this one up I wasn't even with my sister but I remember when I bought this one and had it delivered to my house she was like why didn't you tell me you were buying something that is so cute so I know that she really really wanted one so I decided to pick up a second one and then whichever one doesn't work in my space if this big old one doesn't work and this smaller one works better I'm gonna give her this one and then I'll just keep this one so we will each end up having one it just sort of depends on which one fits in my space better the bigger or the smaller so I'm going to be measuring these this week at my office and figuring out which one works I brought a measuring tape to work wrote down all the measurements of my walls and all the spaces that I needed to fill and couldn't find that piece of paper. So I think I need to either take the stuff with me now that I've hauled it and see which one works or take some more measurements and go from there. But again, I love this design. They did have another one online when I was buying this one that I really, really wanted. And I decided, you know what? I'm just gonna be good, buy one. And then when I bought this one, I found that other one that I was going to buy in this size again for like $5 cheaper. So everything worked out, it all worked out, but I just thought it was so funny that I would find two of the same canvases, one on their website, one actually in stores. So again, this is just what the picture looks like. You can see it a lot better on the smaller canvas, of course, because um, you can actually see it in the whole frame all at one time. But love this, so very cute. The purse and the coffee cup are my absolute favorite. So love these both so much and then I have two more items before this video is over. So these next two items, one of them I'm not really sure if I'm going to keep it but I still wanted to haul it and share with you guys because I still really really love it um, but it basically didn't work out for what I wanted it for so then I found something else and I just have yet to take this back yet because again I haven't decided. So basically I really wanted a footstool at work because I have a foot rest but it's just it's old, it's dingy, and I just don't feel like it actually does much for me. So um, I wanted to buy a footrest or like a little ottoman for under my desk when I'm sitting at my desk chair because when I'm on the computer typing, doing all my stuff, I, sometimes I just get in the zone and I just kind of want to be fully relaxed. So I decided to pick up a footrest. So I thought this would work. I took this to work and it's actually too tall. So that's why I cannot actually keep it for what I wanted it for. But I found this at Home Goods and it's this really cute like stool and again, and it's too tall but it has this beautiful baby pink fur top I just love this I think it's so cute it has three black hairpin legs um, as you can see there so again super cute $29.99 at home goods which I think is actually a really good deal the brand on this is Tainoki Tainoki T-A-I-N-O-K-I Tanoki tanoki.com they also have an Instagram and a Facebook page so um I really really love this I don't know if I want to put this in my office or filming room here at my house um or take this back I haven't decided yet you guys know that I don't haul stuff that I take back so this I wanted to share with you guys because I still think that you guys would really 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 enjoy seeing this um and again that's why I bought it in the first place was to use it as a footstool but it is certainly more of just like a little um chair like a little stool chair I look up for a vanity or something like that. So again, I haven't decided. I think I've only had one other item in my video that I took back because there was a misspelling and then there was a teapot that I wasn't sure if I should keep because I had so many teapots. And so um, I ended up taking that one back and I asked you guys your opinion. So I think I might ask your opinion on this. Should I keep this stool? Do you think it'll come in handy? Um, I don't really have a like a actual use for it right now. Um, but what's really cool about this too is that on the bottom of it, oopsie my hair is now all over the place the bottom of it it's very easy to remove the hairpin legs and I could totally spray paint those gold to match all of my pink and gold stuff so let me know what your opinion is if I should keep it what I should keep it for um because I could always use it at my craft table I could always use it as just like an extra little stool really anywhere maybe even my room because I really want to redo my own room um so yeah, I'm like having such a hard time. I thought it was so cute. I love looking at like all the furniture and stuff like that, uh, but it's very rare that I find stuff that I actually like. So when I found this, I was super, super jazzed. So 
Anyway, let me know. Again, home goods, 30 bucks, 29.99. So, so cute. So now, basically, after that was a big old flop, I decided to do a little bit more searching for a footstool that I really love. So I found one, I got an amazing deal on it, and I'm so excited to share it with you guys. So this next item I'm so excited about. So basically, I had already looked at my home goods, Marshalls, and TJ Maxx stores, and could not find an ottoman. And I was just at that point where I needed something. I needed something, and I decided to go to Ross. I never go to Ross. So the fact that I bought that frame, I was really excited to find and then I found this and this was an amazing deal. It was originally $29.99. I got $7 off because there's like two little damages on it. So I paid $23 for my new ottoman. So oh, I cannot wait to share with you guys. This is what it looks like. It basically has like this really fun gold metal trim at the bottom and then it's this really fun sort of velvety like blush plush baby pink color. So cute. The lid comes off so I could store things on the inside. I don't know what I'm going to store maybe some tennis shoes I already have a little basket for my blanket so I don't need to put that in there so I'm not really quite sure what I'm going to put in there again I think tennis shoes would probably be the best thing that's like what every office worker has they have like a pair of like work tennis shoes that they keep at work to wear on breaks and go for walks and stuff like that so the reason I got this for $23 I got seven bucks off um, it's also not returnable <laughs> um, is because and I don't even know how well you can see it on camera there is like a footprint mark on here and my thought was like well I can clean this, which I'm going to, but I'm also going to be putting my feet on this. Like, not necessarily my feet, more so my legs. Um, so it really wasn't, like, a huge issue. It's not like it's, you know, going to be sitting out for everybody to see a big old, like, dirt mark on the top. Not really dirt, just kind of, like, dust. Um, because it's very, very faint. And then on the bottom, there is a scratch right here in the metal. But as you can see, here is the back of the actual ottoman. So it's right here. It's towards the back anyway. And then this will just be sitting under my cubicle desk. So no one's going to really see the back side. But again, I am so excited for this from Ross. Originally 30 bucks. I paid $23 for this bad boy. So excited. This is just like so perfect. It's sturdy. It's strong. It's a lot shorter than the actual stool. I would say probably it's like from here to here, much shorter, like that much shorter than the stool. So there's gonna be certainly enough room under my desk to put my feet on it. Um, and I'm really, really excited. It's gonna look like a little mini home in there. It already looks like a little mini apartment. I already have like a lot of cute pink, golden white decor in there, but this is just gonna be really fun. It's gonna look totally like an actual apartment. So I love it. I think it's really, really cute. It's my little home away from home. I'm there enough. I'm there probably more than I am in my own house some weeks um, because usually after work, sometimes I'll be doing stuff. I'm not even home. My family will be home, but I'll be off doing other stuff. So um, yes, anyway, that's why I kind of like to make my little space and my office a little homey spot since I'm there quite a bit. So Anyway, that's all I have for this video. Oh my gosh, I cannot believe I got through this. Again, it has been actually ages since I've sat down and filmed a video. So thank you again for being patient. Thank you for being understanding. Um, you know, I think a lot of people on YouTube are not just <laughs> video making machines. If you are, great. I don't know how you actually live a life, but some people do kind of go through things. So thank you for understanding that um, it was not out of my choice for not making videos. So I do see that very genuinely. Um, I wanted to, but life happens and um, I feel like it's kind of important to talk about. So I think that I'm actually going to film a video talking about everything. I don't always share a lot of personal details about my life. Um, but because it's been so long, I feel like I owe you guys an explanation as far as what happened. So anyway, with that said, that is that. Let's close this video out now. Okay, guys, like I said, that is all I have for this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed. Again, I know I'm a little rusty. It's been a while. I'm not just throwing up random videos, so please bear with me. I have a lot of haul videos to share with you guys. Lots of fun stuff coming, so please stick around. Hang in there. Thank you. I will get my groove back. Lauren will get her groove back. <laughs> I think that's actually a name of a movie, and I don't even think that it's the same kind of groove as what I'm thinking. <laughs> so anyway, yes, that is that. Thank you guys for watching. If you guys did enjoy this video, please feel free to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. That way you'll be notified when I post new videos. And it'll also let me know if you guys actually liked it. So yes, there's that. And again, if you want to follow me on any of my social media pages, I have Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat. I will leave all my little handles right down here as, as always. Um, I'm not really on Snapchat. 
that as much anymore just because they have been messing with it so much in the past, I don't know, six, eight months. Um, so I'm not on there as much as I am on Instagram. I've been posting on there. My Instagram stories have since stepped up their game because I'm not on Instagram as much anymore. So I will try and kind of interact as much on Snapchat as possible, but I'm not on there as much as I am on Instagram because frankly, Snapchat confuses me now. So there's that. So with that said, Thank you guys for watching. Please hang in there. I'm gonna explain everything in the near future and uh, stay tuned for a lot more haul videos. So hope you guys are doing well. Talk to me down in the comments. Let me know how you're doing. My summer has been an absolute <laughs> show. Um, and <laughs> yeah, that is that. So thank you guys. Uh, I miss you all seriously so much. Um, and thank you for being so kind on Instagram with whatever posts I've been posting. So with that said, thank you. I love you. And I will see you guys all in my next video.